If you woke up before the sun this morning, you likely saw the SpaceX launch light up the sky in an unbelievable way. News for Jack's insiders sent in dozens of photos as they wondered what this phenomenon was. Meteorologist Danielle Giuliano is joining us now with a look at your photos and to explain why the launch looked so magical, Danielle. That's right, Mary. The saying is, is that a picture is worth a thousand words. And this morning's rocket launch was no exception. News for Jack's insiders really came through with the photos. But the real question is, why do early morning rocket launches look so different than daytime ones? The twilight phenomenon. This happens when the exhaust particles from a rocket left in a vapor trail of a launch vehicle condense, freeze, and then expand in a less dense upper atmosphere leaving us with an illuminating exhaust plume against a dark sky by reflecting high-altitude sunlight and producing a colorful effect seen from ground level. A twilight phenomenon typically occurs with launches that take place 30 to 60 minutes before sunrise. One, Today, zero. it was 5.42 a.m. And liftoff. The launch from Cape Canaveral could be seen at least as far north as Savannah, according to photos News for Jacks received. News for Jacks insider Mallory Rooney from Jacksonville sent in this photo with the caption, What is this? Night rainbow? A shooting cloud? Aliens? While Chad Hallman sent in a photo reading, I was lucky enough to catch this view while on patrol in Volano Beach. The good news? This morning's launch was performed by human scientists and astronauts, not aliens. And if you wow. happen to capture this launch this morning, feel free to send us more photos on News for Jax. You can go to newsforjax.snapchat and become an insider. Yeah, I, I love the photos. They're if really, I hadn't really known cool. ahead of time and I woke up and saw that, I would have thought it was a UFO. I'm just saying. Say, I hey. really would have. I'd be going, get up. John, what gone. Is what is this? Waking up to all those photos and being like, what is that? It's yeah. crazy. More people, uh, like half a dozen people came up. Let me show you mine today <laughs> when I was out and about. Oh, I, was I like, bet. Did this you is see where this? I was I at 528. Yeah, wow. You know, yeah. That's early, too. And uh, they are very unique, and they do happen, as you suggest, pre-dawn, and that's usually the best time to see them. And they, uh, you know, I've never actually seen it myself. I take it back. I saw it one time through some trees, but that was it. Uh, yet I want to get out there one more time and give it a go. It's that window of time. The sunrise this morning was right around 645. This is about an hour and 15 minutes before that. So that's the new zone. So just okay. keep that in mind for the future. About an hour and 15 minutes early. A launch that time period gets you that beautiful look. Almost look like the northern lights. Uh, kind of, but it's all pale. The light, northern lights could be blue, green, purple, red. But uh, this is... Uh, well, I haven't seen those either, yeah, so... Either <laughs> <laughs> We're a little too far south for that. Hey, we are. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah.